278. Okay, we're ready to install our uh, liner. Um, you can use a long stroke or a short stroke air hammer when installing. Uh, the first thing you want to do is take any sort of a lubricant, WD-40, any sort of a lubricant, and just give it a shot. This will help you uh, go in a little easier. Now, the rapid liners are coned at one end. You want to insert the end that isn't coned into the auto driver right up to the front. This will hold it in place so that you don't have to hold your hand on it. After that, we install our air. Make sure that our regulator isn't uh, set too straight. Get over the top and we just drive it home. Like we stated earlier, our intake valve that we're uh, using is a 276 on the stem diameter. Uh, that's why we selected the 2088. The 28 has a 278 uh, minimum finished ID which will give us the 2000 clearance. In order to size to that, we have to use a 279 ball. Due to the fact that there is always one thou rollback in the material after you size it. We can also, uh, we'll show this a little later in the video, use our carbide brooch on a stick. This is the same ball, it's just mounted on a stick so you don't lose it. But we're going to show you how to not lose it. So, what we do, we have a blood size ball. This is the most critical part. When sizing, you must use a short stroke air hammer. Okay, um, and we always tell people to restrict it right down. What this will do is create more beats per inch as you're broaching down through the liner. So simply insert the ball on the end of the uh, the guide. You can size from either end from the rocker side or from the port side make sure you're right over top and just broach the ball through after we've sized now we have to trim off either end you want to make sure you do trim both ends. Any excess material hanging outside of the guide will not transfer the heat properly to the guide, causing expansion and essentially liner failure. For this demonstration, we are going to use a high-speed steel trimmer. You can use an air drill, you can use an electric drill, uh, whatever is most convenient for you. Now just flip the head over. Trim the excess off the other end. Generally after you've uh, trimmed off the guide, you're going to want to use some sort of a chamfer tool to go in there and just take the burr off. Now, remember, never put these in a drill. If you go in there with a drill and try and chamfer it, you're going to create a funnel for the oil to get down through. All it takes is a couple little turns with a sharp tool to take that burr off the edge. Once you've done trimming and there's no more procedures for you to do, always make sure all tool kits come with a nylon brush. Always make sure you use some sort of brush to brush the uh, guide liner out. Uh, this is most critical. You want to use some soap uh, with it some sort of cleaner because any sort of particles left uh, in the diamond pattern in the liner uh, can act as an abrasive and wear your guide liner out. Okay now we're done uh, we're just going to check it with our valve insert the valve so we got a good hole it does happen on occasion that sometimes you pick the wrong liner or that you get in a head that already has liners in it. Uh, the benefit, the rapid system has uh, removal tools. 
This tool is designed so you can remove the liner by cutting it in half uh, without disturbing the hole. After you remove the liner, you can go right back in with another liner uh, and fix the head again. Thank you for watching the uh, rapid procedural guide video on how to install valve guide liners. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can always call the Lenny hotline uh, as seen below here and we will help you with any questions you may have.